Hey friends, today we are checking into the cabins at Disney's Fort Wilderness Resort and I am so excited. My family is in town and they have never stayed here before so I wanted them to stay here and enjoy a nice little family vacation at the fort before they replace these cabins with the new updated versions of them. So we're going to ride the golf cart around, maybe go see some horses and eat some food and have a beautiful Fort Wilderness kind of day. Anywho. Let's go do this. I have been fortunate enough to stay at every single resort here at Walt Disney World, but nothing compares to the cabins here. I've always wanted to stay here with my mom, Bonnie, and Ariel, and Gracie because it's pet friendly, and we're finally doing it. And just in time, because like I mentioned, these cabins are getting replaced, and you can actually look across. You can see one of the cabins already gone there, and most of the loops already have the new cabins in them. And I'll show you that later on, but now I want to show you guys the inside. I'm going to give you a little cabin tour and show you all of the amenities around the resort. And uh, the price for these cabins are anywhere from two to $500 a night, depending on the season. The holidays, it can get quite pricey because everyone loves to come and decorate. And I'm happy that my mom, Bonnie, and Ariel get to experience this old style of cabins before they're gone. So this is going to be like their first time and their last. Maybe, you know what I mean? That's kind of mind blowing. You can rent a golf cart here at Fort Wilderness. I got a six seater because I have my family with me and uh, it costs just about $90 a day. And like I mentioned, you can bring your pets. You can bring your little fur babies. I got Gracie girl with me. Hi, Gracie. And she loves sitting out on the deck here, just taking in all the nature. It's beautiful. I love it. It has been said that not all of these old school cabins are going to be leaving, but as you drive around, you can see them all disappearing and they already have the new DVC cabins in place and you can see them. I'll show you guys them later because you can see them as you're driving by and uh, these cabins right here are ending up online for sale. So you can actually buy a Disney's Fort Wilderness cabin and live in it. How cool would that be? Can you imagine living in one of these forever? And here it is, the Fort Wilderness Cabins. It's crazy that you can actually buy one of these right now. You can personally own this exact cabin. And uh, I'm happy to be staying here. I've stayed here many a times, but I have wanted to make sure I was able to uh, stay here with my mom and sister and Ariel before they're gone for good. Which, you know, who knows how long that's going to take. But look at it. Isn't it so beautiful? It's so big too. This this is a little sleeper sofa. You got a nice little uh, chair over here. The TV. You got, hey Disney. Hello friend. Oh, it actually heard me. Uh, and then you got a nice little dining room table here. A full kitchen. Microwave. Fridge. And then you go back here. You've got a bathroom. And I love this bathroom. It's so nice. Ah. Oh. It's got big ceilings in here too. And then you got a uh, bedroom. And it's really nice because it has bunk beds and a queen size bed it looks like. And I just love all of the artwork, the little lamps. You got a TV in here, a nice little closet. And look at this view. Look at that out there. We're gonna probably start making our way around the resort a little bit. Driving the golf cart, you know, checking out the pool, going over to Pioneer Hall, maybe Trails End, and just hanging out. Like, there is so much to do here. You can do fishing, canoeing, archery, Segway tours. They literally have Segway tours here where you drive around on a Segway. Something else that I think is pretty cool is the fact that the cabin has two doors. So you can shut that door and lock it and then go in and out this one. And if you're staying here with your family like I am, we're all together, Ghost will shut the door for you automatically. <laughs> I'm sure that was just the wind, but as I was saying, you can actually kind of like have two different rooms because the bed, well, the couch, it pulls out. So like if you were just kind of hanging out here, you could just use each door as your own private entrance. What do you guys think of the cabins? Oh, we love it. Yeah? It's so nice. It's peaceful here, right? It, it really is. I feel like you guys are going to want to stay here every time we come. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> well, now I think we're going to make our way up to Pioneer Hall. Take the golf cart. You wanna go for a ride in the golf cart? Yeah? Did you see Gracie? Did you see Gracie? Did you give her treats? Give her treats? 
Yeah. We'll see you later, Gracie. Inside, Grace. Good girl. Boop, boop. This family vacation has been amazing. We did Magic Kingdom, Epcot. We stayed in the uh, Royal Rooms at Port Orleans. And my family's been here for going on two weeks now. Like, it's been a very, like, amazing trip. And I know I've only made a couple of videos, but I want to spend time with my family without vlogging. So we went to Hollywood Studios, and we went out to eat a couple of places. But I already put out, like, a vlog from Epcot. Ariel's first time at Epcot. Ariel's first time at Magic kingdom we stayed in the uh royal rooms at port orleans and i'm just happy to keep it going here <laughs> bonnie's doing all the driving ariel's sitting shotgun i'm sitting in the back seat i actually have an extra seat too over here so my mom could come but my mom doesn't want to come she's just sitting down relaxing she'll probably meet up with us later but we want to go explore go to the tricircle d ranch my mom said if ariel can get on a pony put her on a pony so mm -hmm. we'll see you want to ride some horses, Ariel? A little pony? Yeah? A real one. <gasps> a real pony. I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. <laughs> I'm backing up, backing up, backing up. <laughs> I'm in charge of the music. Do you need a break from modern living? Come on, Maxie! <laughs> oh, come on, Ariel! <laughs> Look at Minnie! Yeah, I seen it! <laughs> on the open road There's nothing can upset me Cause now we're on our way Our trusty map will guide us straight and true Roxanne, please don't forgive me. I will return someday. Some people love driving the golf carts. I love driving the golf carts, but I like just being a passenger, taking it all in. Yeah. Here it is, the Tri-Circle D Ranch. You get to see lots of horses in here. Errol, you might ride a horse or a pony. Yeah. Oh, look it. I bet you there's this guy over here. Oh, there he is! There you look! That's Samson. Samson. Say hi, Samson. Hi, Samson. Hi. What you doing? <laughs> and then who we got over here? Bonsai. Look at that. Hi, Bonsai. I love how the Bonanza. horses know the name. Oh, Bonanza. Bonsai. <laughs> I think he likes Bonsai. Bonanza. <laughs> Bonsai. I'm thinking of Yokozuna. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this, this is definitely one of my favorite things. A 1907 Kalaupi. Isn't that cute? You want to wear my hat, Ariel? <laughs> Oh, here comes Samson. Samsonite. Uh. Here are the prices for the pony rides. All pony riders must weigh under 80 pounds and be under 48 inches tall. And one lap is $10, two laps is 15. Yeah, Ariel. You wanna go ride a pony? Yeah. Oh, you're riding Hershey! Oh! Huh? It's my favorite. Look at Hershey. Awesome. Grab one right over here. Grab there. Yep. One leg up and over. One leg. Oh, you got it. There you go. You got it. Good girl. Ooh! Look at you guys go! Here you come! Look at me and Cheese! Aww! I feel like I'm walking right along with you and Hershey. Uh oh, you're in a horse pile up here. 
Yeah. Bye, Horsey. Come be safe. Bye to Hershey. Bye, Hershey. Bye, Hershey. Thank you. The pony rides here at Fort Wilderness are such a great deal. $10 for a lap, 50 bucks for two. And Ariel looked like she had a great time. Now we're gonna keep moving along and check out more of the resort amenities. And then we have to get ready to go to the pool later, dinner. We got a lot planned, a big Fort Wilderness day. Well, it looks like it's time to hose down the horses. Wow, look at them, they look so clean. We're gonna head over to Meadow Trading Post. That's where they have like the activities, the uh, canoes. Bonnie wants to do archery, so we're gonna see if they have any archery happening. Or tie-dye shirts, I know you love tie-dyes. Ooh, that shirt, this car's coming in hot. It's going in hot, 20 miles an hour here. And there are the new cabins being put in, look at that. This is the Meadow Trading Post. Oh, they have a food truck out. Looks like they have Icy's. You see that? Yeah. Super creamy, dairy free, yeah. soft serve ice. Look at how beautiful this is here. You got basketball courts over there. Tennis. Tennis. Riding along in my automobile. Bonnie beside me at the wheel. <laughs> I also love that they have 24-hour soft drinks. So if you get that refillable mug, they have a machine there where you can get drinks all night long. Oh boy. Coming in hot. Look at how cool this is. Oh. Wow. Oh, and then the Tonight, the Campfire Sing Along. Presented by Off. Fun fact, they actually give you uh, bug, uh, bug spray. Here is a list of all the activities. You got gem mining, kayak, canoe, bicycle. You can do fishing, you can do a firework cruise. Then the wilderness archery experience, $49 for 90 minutes. Yo, I would love to go out on a little canoe. Go canoeing. How about you? <laughs> canoeing. No, no, no canoeing? We were gonna do the archery, but they have limited availability because they only have like two classes a day and they're 90 minutes apart. Uh, and uh, Bonnie doesn't want to do any of the other stuff. I wanted to maybe go canoeing, but nobody wants to go on a canoe. So uh, I don't know, maybe we'll go back, check out mom, and maybe I'll head out, maybe go fishing. I just want to go fishing, you know? That's one thing I love about coming to Fort Wilderness. I love just going out, fishing, and hanging out, taking in all the nature. Did you say hi to Gracie? Gracie, come on. You want a treat? You want to give Arrow, you want to give Gracie a treat? Huh? Gracie? Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Yeah. Oh. You want to pet her? You need to pet her. Yeah, she's okay. She's a good girl. Oh, so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my mom is happy just hanging out in the cabin and relaxing. I told her I'm going fishing. I got my fishing hat on. And I got a friend that actually is staying here at the cabins too. Who's gonna go fishing with me? Going fishing with me. Go fishing. Yeah. My friends Dom and Allie are here too. And this is your first time staying, isn't it? Yeah. It is. Ah. Uh -huh. Look, there's Mater. I know, look at him. Look at that guy. Bar. Yeah, you are. Oh. oh, yeah, you take those, Allie. Let me get the bait. So we're here at the fire. Yeah. Where you can... We got the night crawlers and we got the rods. $74 for four poles of all day fishing. And we're right off Bay Lake. Right there's Bay Lake. We can walk up there, but golf carts can't go over the bridge. I want to go up there later on. Who's going to catch the biggest fish? Not me. Not can you me. swim to the Magic Kingdom from here? I'm doing here. I'm kind of nervous. This is my first time. Actually, I've gone fishing before, like once on Bay Lake, but I don't know what I'm doing really. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
the way. She got a fish. Ellie got one. Get him. Oh, 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 he's huge. Oh, He's huge! Wow! Dang! I got mine out there! I think I might go fish off the bridge itself. Or oh, there's a couple of other nice spots up here. Look at us, Kristen. Happy yes. birthday! Thank you. Just fishing, just fishing away. Fishing away. Hey! <laughs> Howdy! Oh, we got uh, a big one that got away though. Oh, yeah. She got it down there. It was a big one. I got a bite. I got a bite. He's gone. I got him. I got him. Give me your camera. Give me your camera. Bring it in here. Take it. Hurry up. He's got it. Oh. 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 Oh, look at this. Look at him. Oh, did he, did he go? Did he go? I got him. Go, Nate. Go, big. He's too big. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he was huge. <laughs> Dang. Get back in there. Get after him Dang, again. Do you still have your bait? It. The hook was definitely too tiny. Man, everything here is catch and release. And they actually have cast members. I, I've, asked, like, I've had a cast member ask me if I caught anything at least three times now. Uh, so they're always like around and about in case you ever need any assistance. But Man, he was there. Can't you see? <laughs> this is actually really cozy. When it goes all the way down, he's got to take it away. Let's go, little fish. I know you want me. Oh. Now, now, now. Now, you got him. Do it, Chris. Come on. Oh, well, oh, he wasn't hooked he took, yet. He took half of it. Oh, it was going now, Kristen. No fish today, but uh, we'll have plenty of time uh, to try, you know, throughout the rest of our staycation here. Ooh. That door is shutting on its own again. But now I think it's time we get uh, all showered up. Well, Mom, Bonnie, and Ariel are ready to go. But we're going to head over to uh, Hoop de Doo. Hoop de Doo. Hoop de Doo. <laughs> Gracie has decided to take over my hat. And she's going to go on fishing. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh, that's the one right there. You look great. I love it. You want to go fishing next? Yeah? Whoop. Now you look like a, a cowboy. <laughs> Yo, I love my fishing hat. <laughs> I, I know, I, I mean, Bonnie really didn't want to be out in the muggy weather out fishing. I don't blame her. But I love it. I love being out there. And now, like I said, I got to, you know, shower up and get ready for hoop de doo It's not like you need to dress up for it. But, I mean, actually, I probably would fit in pretty well there with my fishing attire. <laughs> you know? Also, I got new glasses, too. But I don't know. I don't want to, I, I want to, like, alternate because these are little big frames. I mean, I've been trying them out and testing them out. But I feel like the reflection is in the camera. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Well, I'll have to see. Let me know if you guys can see it. Ariel's going to associate every single Disney resort with horses now. Look at that. That's beautiful, though. I would have to say the hoop de doo is my favorite dining experience at Walt Disney World. If California Brunch was open at the moment, I would have to be, uh, that's a tough decision, but that's not open yet. So hoop de doo is my favorite. My mom and sister have done it before for the Christmas one, but not the normal hoop de doo musical review because they do like a Christmas overlay or Christmas show. And this is Ariel's first time. And I am so excited. I haven't eaten all day. And all I want to do is eat some of the chicken and the cornbread. Like that's all I, I will eat endless amounts yeah. all right you guys ready for hoop de doo yes. where's mom at She's coming. there she is 
the hoop de do is different prices depending on where you sit, but it can go from $66 to $74 for adults, and it's three times a day from 4 p.m., 6.15, and 8.30 p.m., and you get uh, all-you-can-eat food, chow down on fried chicken, smoked pork ribs, plenty of side fixins, Ma's famous dessert, and uh, oh, also it comes with uh, beer, wine, and soda included in the price, so you can drink uh, as many beers as you could probably handle in an hour. We got a 615 reservation because we're hoping that we can get out in time for the Chippendale Campfire sing-along at 8 p.m. So I think it's possible. I don't know how long it usually lasts, but if we could do that and then catch it, you know, afterwards. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be doing any s'mores because I'm going to fill up on the strawberry shortcake. But I want to see Chippendale. I want Bonnie. Uh, I mean, I want Bonnie. I want Bonnie. I do. I want Bonnie and I want Ariel to have fun and, you know, do the campfire stuff. Do the Fort Wilderness stuff. Let's go. <laughs> All right, it's time to get hoopty. Time to get hoopty. Wow, I love it in here. There's the stage. Look at all oh, the cornbread and the coleslaw. It's all on the tables already. Oh, this is a great one. I love it. This is like category one, this is category two, and then category three. But sometimes category two can be upstairs, and that's the different price points. But we have a good spot, Ma. We do. Look at that, you got a nice spot, nice uh, view of the time stage. We were here, we were up there. Oh, I know, you remember? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Look at us all. That's the way. <laughs> Coming in to present a hand clapping, foot stomping show called the Hoopty Doo Review. All of us at Pioneer Hall hope you have a great time at the Walt Disney World Resort. I think I hear that stagecoach pulling up in front with the gang on board. What do you say? Whoa. Put it in your purse. I'll keep the cornbread. I've eaten at least two pieces of chicken already. I'm trying to hold off a little bit, but I keep on getting more potatoes. I don't even know what I'm holding off for. Strawberry shortcake? Mm. I'm feeling confident and full right now. We got a second round of chicken and ribs. Ariel's getting more french fries. How was the mac and cheese? It was good. Yeah? My, oh, you get, oh, you got more cornbread. You son of a gun. So we're gonna try that one more time. I said, how are we feeling so far? Yeah. <laughs> no matter how far away you travel, the music of hope can always face with you. Oh, Shandor, I long to see you. Oh,
I can eat shirtcake all day. I think we are done here today or tomorrow because uh, my uh, camera battery died last night. So after hoop de doo I couldn't make an outro. But uh, it was delicious. I love the fried chicken there. Bonnie and Mom and Ariel loved it. And uh, now we're going to just enjoy the rest of our staycation at the uh, cabins here. Uh, one last time. I mean, who knows, though? Like I said, Disney never really said whether or not, like, there, there wasn't a time frame. And they said that they would still be a couple of them. But, you know, people are just always eager to hang on to things that they love. And, you know, you can't, you can't, you can't blame them, you know? But either way, I'm excited. And like I said, when the new ones do come out, I'll definitely be here. And I really believe, like I said, the Fort Wilderness makes the fort you know the fort the cabins you know are just a part like a you know part of them but being here it just puts you in that spirit so you, i feel like i feel i feel like i'm gonna feel the exact same way in the new cabins as well as the old ones but i'll remember the memories that i have so and especially these ones so i'm so happy i got to make the video to share it with you guys and have it as a little memory and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it. Uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.